summer 2020 fishing tackle in this order we're going to go over the three boxes which is going to be bottom baits terminal tackle hooks the next box crank baits jerk baits anything like that and why i carry them some spinner baits chatter baits and extra things about that and give me a minute you do have the tube bag uh drop shot ned rig finesse and a few creature baits now you have to keep in mind that all of the baits in this video that I talk about I do fish with on my channel for largemouth bass and smallmouth bass. Now if you go in the description of all of my videos you will see Michigan fishing videos, Michigan fishing playlists, and channels to follow and subscribe to. So if you guys want to see like fishing videos with the baits or Shimano videos, largemouth, smallmouth, just remember look down in the description and I do have over 400 videos to watch. Now enough of the rambling, let's go ahead and move these plastics out of the way and put these back in order and go over my summer 2020 fishing tackle so if you open this box right here what are you going to see in that box like i said you're going to see tubes drop shots net rigs hooks tungsten you name it now some of the tubes i'm going to be carrying you will see like i have talked about in recent videos has been the extreme bass tackle tubes you do have the great lake perch now the one that i've been catching the most fish on is actually the sweet green out on lake st Clair. You do have a quarter ounce, which is a Strike King Tour Grade tube jig, and a three eighths, which is a Mustad tube jig. You will see, like I said, the angle of the line tie is different, but they're both very good, very effective. Uh, the Strike King coffee tube, the Natural Gobi, like I have said in the past few videos, is my favorite, but I have been using these tubes and having actually a lot of, a lot of success with them. Excuse me. Now, right here, St. Clair Gobi NFT, Muskegon Gobi. Now you'll notice that the St. Clair NFT, Gobi NFT, has a little bit of purple. This has a little bit of darker orange in it. I do like the Muskegon Gobi better. And if you do want to see the tube jigs, give me a second. There's a quarter ounce, there's a three-eighths. Quarter ounce, three-eighths. Focus, there you go. Now up here in the corner of this box, you're going to see drop shot weights. Okay, tungsten drop shot weights. These are the teardrop tungsten. Now what that is, is it's sort of a combination of your ball and your cylinder. Ball is for rocks and sand cylinders for weeds, grass, stuff like that. This is a combination of both. I do like this. Now tungsten is more expensive, but I do prefer it over lead. You do have a couple extra hooks and weights in there. Now if you go over to this section of the box, you do have Ned rigs. So right here you have the green pumpkin goby color and you have smelt. Okay, it's the, uh, the Z-Man. I almost just said finesse TRD, excuse me. It is the finesse shrooms Ned Rig jig head. I do like the one six ounce. I will go lighter sometimes, but that is the size that I like and I haven't really had any issues with it. So you'll have that. And onto the tungsten, you do have the quarter ounce striking to our great tungsten. And the hooks, which I always tell you guys about for the Texas rigs, it's the offset or excuse me, I was gonna say the offset shank worm EWG3 out, but that is basically what this is, except for a super line, which is why they call it the super line EWG. No, that is not rehearsed. I just know it so well from talking about it. But anyway, if you have any questions, comments, or whatever about the tubes, the terminal tackle, or anything, um, these baits, I do like to fish in the summer. Like I said, they are great for spring, fall, summer, and all that stuff. But finesse fishing in the summer, especially when it gets hot up here in the north in Michigan, uh, your baits like your drop shot, your Ned Rig, your tube, they are going to be amazing. Now, a, a tube is a great bait all year like like all these other baits are but i just i like to fish them in the summer more than i do anything else so get this box closed up and if you have any questions or you want video links to anything like i said i've fished with yeah just about all these actually yeah all these baits except for a couple of the tube colors now moving on to the next one to the next one excuse me you do have the crate bait and jerk bait box now you're going to look up here to this strike king 5xd which is the sexy blueback herring color you'll notice this bait has been torn up by bass pike bass pike and walleye now it's funny because i went to the store to get another sexy blueback herring color see that this is what it should look like now the ones that i got are a little faded but it is the same color i just thought that was cool and i wanted to point that out to you guys um and then you do have a mini recon in the what the heck is this called uh mondo shad color you do have a live target, one of the originals, back from what, I think 2010. And then you do have another mini recon right here in the native shad color. 
Now right here, these two striking red eyes shed lipless crankbaits, they are the half ounce size and that is the size that I do use all the time. But if you go back to the Inland Lake videos from the spring, the color that I used the most was the Red Craw and the Chrome and Black. But that one, that kind of orange craw, chili craw, whatever you call it, that's not chili craw, that's orange. Um, that has the stock hooks and then this one does have different hooks. I like this one up north um, and I just flung the bait. But what, do I notice a big difference? I mean, no, with the stock hooks, you're gonna lose some fish. I mean, but that's part of fishing. Now, uh, if you swap out the hooks, it's gonna give you a little bit better of a hookup and they won't rust like the Strike King hooks do, but it's not gonna be that much of an issue. No, I, I am gonna cover the mega bass section because I do like those baits a lot. And I've actually influenced a lot of people to use those. Now, real quick, uh, these are two baits that I haven't caught fish with this year. This is the Rapala CRR3, the crank and wrap. What, these go two to three feet. You do have an orange, kind of like an orange crawfish color. I know I'm going fast. I'm trying to get to the point. I want to keep it to 10 to 15 minutes. You do have a little minnow color as well. Those are discontinued. And two things that are going to be great for fishing, especially for smallmouth in the summer on St. Clair and Lake Michigan, is a spy bait, okay? You do have a smaller spy bait in the perch color. Jeez, can I show you guys the bait? There we go. And then you do have this color, which is kind of like a chartreuse white thing. Now onto the jerk baits. See this right here? This, these. No, not these. This one. GP Pro Perch. See the silver one? I've caught more pike and silver bass on this one than anything. But my two favorite Mega Bass Vision 110 Plus One baits for smallmouth bass has to be Table Rock SP and Elegy Bone. Now I got these baits for this video on purpose because I don't know if you can see it. This bait is so torn up from fish. You can see, even though Mega Bass it does have the outbarb katsu hooks that I always talk to you guys about, uh, fish have actually, like, pieces of the treble hook have actually came off from catching so many fish. Now, that was Table Rock SP. You see this elegy bone? Do you see how torn up that is? Do you know how many smallmouth bass this has caught? It's just absolutely destroyed. Well, it's been destroyed from smallmouth and pike. I still got the line on both of these, but look at that. Just absolutely destroyed. These are amazing baits. Yes, they're pricey, but these are the jerk baits that I do like in the spring, summer, and fall. Yes, they will work in hot weather. So, so far, got a lot of information in about, oh, I don't know, six, seven minutes worth of time. You do have the crank bait and hard bait box. Yes, it does work all throughout the year, but those are what I like to carry in the summer. Now, and then the two box. Now, one more thing that I forgot to mention about the 5XD is yes it does go 15 feet but it will go deeper if you use lighter line but uh, just a good all-around um an all-around tip i do like a medium heavy moderate rod for that bait and i do like nah, 15 pound fluorocarbon now like i said if you go with lighter fluorocarbon the bait is going to go deeper it will go deeper than 15 feet and if you go heavier with like a 20 pound mono or fluorocarbon it's going to go higher in the water column i mean obviously i've covered that in videos before but I did want to add that. So anyway, you do have those. Now we're going to go on to this box right here. Stop sliding, which right here, you're gonna have some spinner baits and chatter baits. So we're gonna go over this and plastics, and it's gonna be about 10 or 15 minutes. Onto the spinner baits, which I do like to carry in my bag. You do have a War Eagle 3 8 with a double willow blade. You do have a Strike King KVD half ounce in the sexy shad color and I just love it when my baits get tangled when baits get tangled when I'm in the middle of talking now back to the war eagle see that's a cool little tip too if you carry boxes like this what you can actually do is you can hang the blade over the next uh the next slot and it will work like that you do have a half ounce war eagle and now you're going to notice it's kind of like a compact silhouette now what does that mean it's a half ounce in size, okay, but it does have the profile of a quarter ounce and it does have two smaller willow blades, but it will cast farther, believe me, than a half ounce spinner bait of another brand. Now right here you do have, I can't even remember the name of it, but you, you do have a half ounce uh, Guggen spinner bait. I think it's okay, but it's not my first choice. Now onto the chatter baits, right here you do have the Strike King Thunder Cricket. It is the half ounce size. The Bruiser Color with a blue craw trailer, I caught a lot of fish with that. In the spring and excuse me that is a 5 8 green pumpkin this one is the half ounce bruiser with the natural craw on the trailer forgive me for that mistake and then right here you do have the falcon lake craw the falcon lake trailer 
Then right here, you do have a little bit bigger of a chatterbait. Chartreuse and white with a Kitex swim bait. I like to throw this at a couple inland lakes where it's deeper. So yeah, you just, you have that. Now again, these are baits that I do like to fish in the spring and fall, but they will work at all times of the year. And I don't like it when the bait gets tangled like that. So I like to have it like that. So anyway, enough of the rambling. You do have the bottom baits and the terminal tackle and the hooks. Um, you can fish any of these baits all year, but like I said, if you want to fish slow and you want to slow it down when it's hot, that is a great way to catch fish. So you do have the bottom baits, you do have some of the hard baits, moving baits, and you got moving baits here. So yeah, those are some of the baits that, well, those are the baits that I carry and fish with right now. Now onto the plastics, you do have finesse, which is drop shot and Ned Rig. You do have some creature baits, uh, some craws and bugs from Guggen baits, which I'll go over in a minute. And of course, you do have the tubes. So we're going to go ahead and start with the tubes. And these are the baits that I've been carrying in my tackle bag. So here we go. I'm just going to go ahead and dump this out. Stream Bass Tackle, Great Lakes Perch, Muskegon Goby. I'm going to go over this kind of quickly. St. Clair Goby NFT. Again, St. Clair Goby NFT. Sweet Green. And Coffee Tubes. Those are the plastics that I like. Now, you'll see the natural goby versus the St. Clair goby NFT. More purple and blue, more green and blue. So, yeah, put these back in here. Shout out to Wayne Carpenter. Shout out to Wayne Carpenter over, over at Extreme Bass Tackle Tubes. Can I just, like, not talk today? Or should I just, like... Now so onto the finesse baits, the Ned Rigs, and the drop shot baits. A variety of those. You got the Baby Z2, Beast Coast Tungsten, Jackal Crosstail Shad. I actually caught quite a few fish on these uh, the last time in St. Clair. They were all one to two pounds. I just didn't put it in the video. You got some Poor Boy Baits, the Erie Darter. See this X-Zone Finesse Slammer? I'm going to have to throw this next time. What is this, the old 302, 309, excuse me, Mega Bass Haze Dung Shad. That's also another great one. And then you do have uh, the Guggen Dragon Drops and the Rattlin Neds. Uh, those are also some of my favorites. I fish with those for largemouth more than I do anything else. Get your drop shot baits put back in there. And then we'll take a look at the Bandito Bug and the Cracking Crown. That will be it. Now, you guys got to do me a favor and leave me a comment in the section below. Uh, which one of these baits do you like or dislike because I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys fish with all of these um, So if you want to see if they work in Michigan check out the videos because they do and then a natural and black and blue Crack and craw and then a natural and black and blue bandito bug Texas rig is my favorite way to fish them But the crack and craw I do like putting on the jig trailer for large mouth bass. They went hope you guys enjoy summer fishing or summer 2020 fishing tackle these, 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 and these three boxes is what I carry in my tackle backpack for largemouth bass and smallmouth bass. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will talk to you guys in the comments, and I'm probably out fishing, excuse me, out filming another fishing trip. I will see you guys next time.